slept in her co-sleeper for the first time last night and I'm not sure she quite likes it. So she usually sleeps in her rock and play um, and it's like so easy at night. Like all I do, I feed her, I change her, I put her down and she goes right back to sleep. With the co-sleeper though, it's not, she didn't wake up more times than usual. She still woke up just like two times in the night and then her normal wake up time. Um, which is around eight, but each time I would feed her, change her, and then when I put her back down, she wasn't going back to sleep. She was getting fussy, and she was getting hiccups worse than usual. She was spitting up more than usual, and I think it's because that rock and play is, like, inclined, and so after she eats a bunch, it helps her to kind of, um, digest and keep her food down where that, uh, co-sleeper is not so I think today I'm gonna to try and put some blankets underneath and give it a little bit more of an incline for her had a bit of a crazy morning already thanks to this little guy decided to poop right here while I was feeding Bobby luckily Chris was up when it happened so he was able to clean it up real quick I didn't have to just sit in the stink for 30 minutes while I fed her uh yeah and it's like 25 degrees outside right now so it's not like i can really leave the dogs out for that long which is probably why he pooped because i only let them out for like five minutes this morning but still five minutes is enough to poop duke good boy dukey here you go good girl sammy here you go started luckily someone has been letting me get some stuff done get your insurance all figured out it appears to still be really cold outside pups have fun don't freeze I haven't really eaten today. I've actually been a little surprised of how hard it is to keep myself fed. I just get busy with other stuff and forget to eat. Luckily we have lots of leftovers. So when I do decide to eat, it's just choosing and reheating. Let's see. Definitely gonna go for some turkey. quick look at what I was intending to do today versus what has actually happened so I did call the dentist what is it what is it now noon oh actually I'm not doing too bad so I started trying to make some kind of a schedule and I actually wrote down to play with her in the morning she slept through both of those like play times but it was good because this morning kind of got away from me 
but that's not bad because it means I'm not behind on anything. I just have to play with her when she wakes up. Oh, she's so cute. I love you. I love you. Do you want to try a diaper change? See if that makes you feel better. Beautiful. See, I just needed a new diaper. That was all. I'm fed, changed, and cuddled up now. Time for a nap. So it's like 1.30. I haven't really done anything on my homework. And now I have like a little over 30 minutes till I gotta get her ready for her appointment. So we'll see what we can do. Oh my gosh. I just realized that I didn't include a reference. <sighs> oh crap. Got this email sent to my professor telling her that I messed up. I am officially caught back up in school from what I had missed from having the little baby and taking like a week off to take care of her. So Chris just texted me that he might run late to this appointment. Hopefully, hopefully he like makes it because I don't know, it's a pretty big deal for a little baby. A little baby. A little tonguey snipped. Little baby. But he's at another appointment with his dad right now, and apparently they haven't even been seen yet, so. Hopefully that goes fast. Okay, let's get some more stuff together. She just got her tongue untied. Say it wasn't that bad, guys. I got a little bit angry. A chance of being slick, and if you're talking about mm -hmm. driving, that would be on ramps, off ramps, bridges, Maybe. overpasses, side goal <laughs> surge. When you get Arctic air surging, this happens. Oh so, yeah, that's so what I got to Our average you temperature this time of year is 52, and it's 30 outside now. 24. This is super cold for this time of the year. Look at that. Look at that tongue. Um, so, yeah, baby girl did really good getting her tongue tie fixed. She only cried a little bit while they were doing it. Second he handed her back to me, she stopped crying. Um, she cried while he was doing the exercises showing us how and um, same thing, as soon as he was done, she stopped crying. She's been a little bit fussy since we've been home. Um, but right now she's super chill. Hey baby. Hey baby Bobby. <laughs> Just got the hiccups like usual. Um. But yeah, she's just like moving her tongue around a lot and sticking it out. I guess it probably feels weird in her mouth right now having all that movement. Um, I honestly feel like Bobby handled getting her tongue tied better than I did. Like, I was just in a really off mood ever since. I don't know, it's just stressful and you feel so bad because they're these like precious little creatures that don't even like know pain and uh, I don't know. I feel better now that she's calmed down and ate okay and here comes Dookie and Sammy. Look at my two good doggies. Look at my two good doggies. Take a sit. There you go, bud. There you go. I wasn't lying when I said that appointment took a lot out of me. I'm just been extremely like on edge I guess since the appointment every little thing's getting under my skin something as small as like we left a folder over at his dad's house that I wanted to look over once we got here and I don't know just like 
having to go back over there, I would probably have to have to take her with me. It's like 20 degrees outside and technically not a huge, huge deal, but oh, it just, it made me mad. I don't know. So I think we are just gonna relax for a little while. I might not get the house clean today, but that's okay. Cause my big girl got her tongue all snippied. She needs her mom. There's my pretty baby giving the stink eye. Yeah. Hmm. I officially snapped. Duke peed and pooped like so much in the house, which I guess I should have seen coming because the last few times right after he's eaten he's pooped like almost immediately in the house but I wasn't being smart and didn't let him out right after because I was holding and loving on my little baby instead but yeah that happened and prompted me to yell at him more probably than I needed to and then I guess because I yelled, she started crying, and I started crying. And then I like went off and complained all about him to Chris about how like I don't feel like we're being good pet owners because they don't have time for like a puppy right now with like giving all my attention to her. And then Chris was like, you know, if you really feel that way, we can start looking for a new home for him, which just made me cry even more because obviously like. I'm already attached to that dog and I definitely don't want to get rid of him. You know, this is kind of like a momentary like thing. But I do feel a little bit guilty for him going from like receiving tons of attention to so little. I just let Sammy out with Duke and now she's already banging back on the door. Our little baby's not feeling so good, I don't think. She keeps crying. And I'm about to do those exercises with her, so I might give her some of these ice chips. Not ice chips, but like breast milk chips. Okay, babe. Let's see if this helps you little mouthy a little bit. Oh, I just got it all over your face. I don't know if she's a fan of that frozen breast milk. So basically, yeah, she just spit it out. Okay. So we won't do that. I might do some baby child to help her sleep tonight. Poor thing. So the breast milk was no go. No, I'm about to attempt these exercises, which I'm not looking forward to. Because I know it's just going to hurt you more, and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. You swallowed it for me. I love you. Me and the little baby. Probably just gonna hang out the rest of the night. And try and finish editing this video that I'm working on. <laughs> or at least get some more done on it. And then go to bed. Not much else happening the rest of the night. Mostly just hanging out with the most beautiful girl in the whole wide world. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know down in the comments if you like this style video. It's kind of different. It's kind of different for me. <laughs> oh, I can't. She's so cute. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you're new and you want to get more pics of this cute little face there she is oh 
that face right there. So bye guys.